All right, today's topic, a type of friend that you need to cut out of your life. You don't need to hate the person, but it's best that you minimize interaction with this type of person. Of course, there are obvious people to avoid. The old saying goes, a friend in need is a friend indeed. You know the friend that only calls you when they need something or they call you if they need money, but they never pay you back or they never return the favor when you need help. So that's that's the obvious person to avoid. The low key one that you may not realize, this took me 22 years to figure out. So hopefully, if you're a little younger, this doesn't take you 22 years to figure out like it took me 22 years to figure out. I've known my best friend since I was 12 years old. I'm 35 now. In high school and junior high, I was shy. Not around guys, but around the ladies. Like, debilitatingly shy, especially if I like someone. If they were my friends, I was okay. A little mediocre. Six out of 10 in shyness. But if I liked someone, it was like 10 out of 10 in shyness. So my best friend, outgoing, you, maybe maybe you could describe him as alpha. Now as I get older, it's not alpha, it's more obnoxious and trying too hard. But all these years I had rose, rose tinted glasses for the guy. I thought he was the greatest man on earth, like the world's greatest man. Now looking back at it, this guy, every time a girl talked to me, or if I talked to somebody, this guy jumped in front of me to try to steal my thunder. And here's an unwritten rule in life. If you're the outgoing friend and you have a shy friend, you need to um, you need to bring up your shy friend, you know, introduce your shy friend to your friends. My friend never introduced me to any of his female friends ever. So I never put two and two together until two years ago. As I get older, I'm less shy. And now I have shy friends and I do I do my best to make my shy friends look good. I, I try to prop them up and if they're talking to a lady, I don't try to steal their thunder. If anything, I try to make them look better. Especially if I need to help them break the ice a little bit, I'll do that. I won't I won't try to like make them look bad like my friend did. So this is when I figured it out. My best friend joined the army after high school, so after high school, I didn't see him. I didn't see him much. Hopefully, the sun's not glaring right into the camera. But uh, after high school, I didn't see this guy too much. But I would see him like once or twice, you know, every couple of years. You know, I didn't see him much. But like, he, maybe he would visit like one one time every year, or one time every two years. Is it GPS lost, man? Damn it! I think this thing's lost. Hold on one second. Well, I'll try to talk while I'm figuring this out. Okay. So last year, he, uh, or two years ago, he visited and we went indoor rock crawl, indoor rock climbing. I said crawling. Rock crawling is more for freaking uh, trucks. But we went indoor rock climbing in an indoor rock climbing gym. And I invited two of my female friends to go climbing with us. So we're going climbing. And the whole time, every time I climb, this guy's like yelling, man. He's like, fall, fall, you suck. Oh, damn, fall off the wall. Oh, man, you suck. And, and I'm thinking in my head at the time I was 33 and it was 34. And I'm thinking in my head, what the fuck, dude? And I'm like, we're like... 33 and 34 years why the fuck is this guy yelling he was trying to make me look bad so one of my friends so we went we went out climbing for a couple hours one of my friends she went home early maybe she was annoyed <laughs> but uh, after that we went to an all-you-can-eat buffet so we're at all-you-can-eat buffet and this guy is like making fun of me there too he's like oh man you're a pussy Man, I'm gonna eat more than you because you eat like a girl. 
And I say, all right, dude, calm the fuck down, man. What the hell's wrong with this guy? So he's, uh, he needs to out-eat me. So we go, we go to an all-you-can-eat buffet. He has to out-eat me, too. He has to call me a girl, a pussy, and he eats more than me because he's so manly. So he goes to the bathroom, and my friend... Okay, so he eats four plates, and I eat five, and my friend, she eats five, too. And when he goes to the bathroom, my friend, she's like, John, dude, your friend is so fucking annoying. I need a barf right now. I didn't even want to eat five plates. But your friend is so damn annoying, I had to beat him. And she told me, like, you're, you're obviously the good, the good one out of the two of you. And, you know, that was, that was sweet of her. But after that day, I was a little pissed off. I was like, what's this guy's problem, man? Like... Yeah, I invite him to go indoor rock climbing. You know, this whole time he, like, has to try to, like, chop me down. And even when we eat, this guy has to chop me down. So I call my best friend up, and I tell her about this. And she tells me, she, she tells me this. She's like, okay, all these years I've heard you talk about how great your friend is. And now, as you get older, you're getting less shy. You're making your own female friends. You know, you're... And it means a lot to me that she says this. She said, you're a, you're a cool guy. And, you know, you're, you're getting older. So you're getting more mature. You're getting less shy. You have your own set of friends. And all these years, you were a lackey to this guy. He was like the alpha of the two of you. He was a loud one. He got all the girls. And now you're doing better. And he's, like, jealous of you. Now he has to chop you down because you're doing, you're doing better in life. Now he has to make you look bad. And that was the uh, that was a light bulb moment, and then that's where I realized, God damn, man! When I was younger, all this guy ever did was like try to make me look bad in front of girls. He would jump in front of me, in front of girls, like to get the spot. Like he never introduced me to anyone, and he knew I was like super shy. He never like, you know, hey guys, this is my friend John. You know, he's a cool guy because I did that for him. You know, when we went. When we went rock climbing, I did that for him. I invited my friends to introduce them to my best friend. And he had to make me look bad. So I don't talk to this guy anymore. Now here's the hard part. And this is where I may need advice. I don't know how to break it to him that I can't stand him anymore. Maybe if he would like... See, I haven't talked to him much for the past two years. But maybe if he asked me straight up, hey man... Is there a problem between us? Or are you, like, mad at me? I would I would tell him, like, you know, you try to make me look bad, man. Like, what's your problem? But, like, right now, it's like, do I even break it to the guy and say, hey, man, I freaking can't stand you right now. But after that rock climbing thing, after that rock climbing day, I just, I just don't like the guy anymore. I just don't want to really be around him. I don't hate the guy if he needed my help. I would help him if a crisis was happening I would help him but I don't want to like hang out with them anymore I don't need people like that in my life who are trying to chop me down and make me look bad because I, I would do anything for a friend and if I if I knew a friend was in trouble if I knew a friend was shy I, I, I don't chop my friends down that's just not the type of person I am because I know what it's like to feel a little bad about your own self so 22 years you know I, I can't stand the guy anymore I, I don't want anything to do with them now haven't talked to him for two years I just kind of like start you know he's a busy guy he's a family man and that's another thing the guy has like a wife and kids and it's like here's another thing that's weird man he was like hey man do you have any do you have any more hot friends it's like God, you have a wife and kids, dude. Like, why, why do you even care? But you know, that's that's a whole other topic. I'm not going to judge him and his marital status and his kids or anything. But the guy has a wife and kids, so he's a fairly busy guy. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't talk to the guy anymore. I just, I just don't want anything to do with him anymore. I think I'm lost. I'm trying to find a place here. I'm trying to find this new shopping center. I think the GPS is outdated. But anyway, that was uh, while I'm looking for this place, I figure it's a good 
it's a good uh, video, a good life lesson. Yeah, if you're a, a shy type of guy and you got a friend who's always trying to make you look bad, that's not the f type of friend you want in your life. And if you're that, you know, more outgoing guy and you're a good dude, you know what I'm saying when it when I'm saying like, if you got a shy friend, you make them look better. You know, you you prop them up. All right, everyone, kick ass, be safe, take it easy, have a great weekend.